Breaking 48 HRS after protests, Nike sent disgusting public message to President Trump. Big mistake. All eyes are on the NFL and how those associated with the un-American NFL anthem protest. Some people might be wondering what will put an end to the insanity that professional football has turned into. The answer is simple, cut off the flow of money. In the end, the NFL just like any other business is driven by the almighty dollar, and if we want to change their behavior, we'll need to withhold that money. We're off to a really great start by boycotting the events and avoiding watching on television. The NFL stands to lose about $200 million in advertisement just by the decrease in viewership from last year. That is making them squirm as it is, and the government working on taking away about a billion dollars a year in taxpayer subsidies is making them hurt even worse. In order to truly drive the point home, the other thing that Americans need to do is cut off money to anyone that supports the NFL and their tolerance of disrespect toward the anthem, our flag, and our veterans. The companies that are continuing to support the league need to know that we don't send our money toward those who disrespect our country. Nike has led the way in supporting the NFL's tolerance, and they need to know what that means to us. Say Darren Rovell in Twitter. Nike NFL Statement Nike supports athletes and their right to freedom of expression on issues that are of great importance to our society. Nike might be one of the biggest offenders, but they're not alone. Multiple NFL sponsors have come out basically saying that they're cool with whatever the NFL wants to do when it comes to the protest. Bloomberg highlighted the response from some of the major sponsors, and exactly what the companies have said about the issue, after a hotly political weekend in the National Football League. A few of the league's corporate sponsors have started speaking out sort of. Ford Motor Co. Armour Incorporated and Anheuser-Busch InBev SA issued statements that affirmed NFL players' rights to kneel during the pregame national anthem, while also sounding patriotic notes and affirming their support of the flag. Ford, for example, said the automaker would respect individuals' rights to express their views, even if they are not ones we share. That's part of what makes America great. In a tweet Sunday, Under Armour said it stands for the flag and by our athletes for free speech, expression, and a unified America. The tangled responses are the latest version of the challenges faced by corporations in a world in which the president makes public demands and denouncements of companies via Twitter. General Motors Co., Campbell Soup Co., ESPN parent Walt Disney Co. and Uber Technologies Inc. have all faced calls for boycotts related to their perceived support of or distance from the White House. Hyundai Motor Co. also took a more direct stance, we stand for and respect individuals' freedoms to express their First Amendment rights in any peaceful manner in which they choose. We also stand for inclusion, freedom, and all that represents those values. The vast majority of the NFL's 37 sponsors have remained silent. The league earns $1.25 billion from its corporate partners, who are eager to be affiliated with the most popular sport in the U.S. and the national TV audience it attracts. Prissy Hawley of Freedom Daily released an exhaustive list of NFL sponsors, commenting, Whenever liberals go after conservatives, they always go directly for their sponsors and lead boycotts of products and companies. Well now it's time for we the people to take the exact same approach towards our favorite sport being hijacked by these nasty anti-American leftists, and put a stop to the NFL once and for all by protesting with their wallets. Don't get us wrong, we understand that they have every right to do what they're doing. We also have every right to not support them with our patronage. Their actions are their own, and they'll have to put up with the consequences of that. In this case, some of the consequences will be that they won't get many patriots as customers. And as we know, the left and their social justice warriors aren't a particularly industrious bunch, so you might want to pay attention to what the actual taxpayers say if you want to keep your doors open. According to the Federalist Papers, the League itself has had its share of backlash. Apparently, People are starting to use their words as well as their money and viewership to show their displeasure with the tolerance gone amok on football fields around the nation. When you exercise your First Amendment right, others may not agree with you, and that is exactly what happened to the Baltimore Ravens. According to the Daily Caller, 
Almost all of the players on the Baltimore Ravens took a knee during the national anthem and they received quite the backlash from fans. Thousands of fans were incensed that nearly all of the Ravens players knelt during the national anthem, displaying what they called a gut-wrenching lack of respect for the country and the flag. Many fans said they would no longer support the team because of the protests. Introducing politics into today's was the lowest behavior of any team. I'm no longer a Ravens fan after today, one man wrote on the team's Facebook page. I will be notifying MNT Bank of my decision to pull out as well. If you don't support my country, you and MNT Bank don't deserve my support or my money either. Shame on you Baltimore Ravens. Others saw the demonstrations as a lack of respect for the team's fans and the city of Baltimore. You all forget who you represent. Not just yourselves. A woman posted. You represent the Ravens, Baltimore, and America. And you embarrassed yourselves and us today. You not only broke the unity of us as Americans today, I think you broke the unity between Ravens players and Ravens fans. And here is an incredibly important point. The Ravens, along with many others in the NFL, have forgotten who they represent. In their scurry to hop on the attention train in hopes of becoming the next Malcolm X football edition, they have lost sight of the big picture. Exercise whatever rights you'd like, but also know that actions sometimes have consequences. They can choose to take a knee, and we can choose to take a walk. We see the NFL as such a staple of the fall that we forget, it's not a national endeavor, it's a business. Both the league and individual teams are businesses just like any other that have very cleverly incorporated their fans into their family in order to foster loyalty. But don't forget that these are people looking to make money, and they only care about your feelings as far as it affects their ability to amass wealth. To those of you that have been making a difference, good work. You've turned the eyes of the nation on a problem that could have easily let go to seed. And if you don't like what you're seeing on the football field, you have the power to do something about it. You hold the money, so you're in control, don't forget that. Join the Support Our Vets, boycott the NFL and their sponsors' Facebook page by liking it, and share if you're boycotting the NFL and the companies that support them. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us, and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook, and liking it, and follow up. And thank you for watching.